Hey, what's going on, Rattler? So in last week's video at Snake Discovery, you saw some of the most awesome YouTubers compete in the enclosure build-off. I still have the gunk all over my hands from it. But while these guys are here in town, we have this hidden gem right here in St. Paul, Minnesota called Twin Cities Reptiles. It is the oldest continuously running reptile shop in the country under its original owner. So. I'm out here wandering around the parking lot waiting for Brian Cusco and Garrett Hartle to show up and then we are going to go in and tour my hometown reptile shop. I'm Dave Kaufman and these are my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. It's about time you show up. Well, I've got lots of Viking meat in my bloodstream. I have no idea what that is, but let's go in and see some snakes. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Twin Cities Reptiles. So as you walk into Twin Cities Reptiles, you may see a Brian Cusco filming, but off to the right, you will see all these really incredible enclosures full of all different kinds of snakes. We've got carpet pythons over here. We've got all sorts of ball python morphs over here. We've got boas over here. We've got Baron's Racers. Baron Racers are native to South America, and these are rear-fanged, mildly venomous colubrids, I say as he goes right for my face. But these guys are lizard eaters in the wild, but in a captive situation like this, you can get them over to mice, no problem. But one of the coolest things about these snakes is look at that head. They've got that little appendage on the tip of their nose which makes these guys so unique. But these guys can grow up to six feet long and this one is about a two-year-old. Now Baron's Racers, they all will hatch green like this, but a few of them will turn powder blue as they get to be adults. And after shed after shed as they grow, they get more and more blue. But so far we have not yet figured out the genetics on what makes the blue ones and what makes these green ones turn blue. It just happens with a few of them and others will remain green like this throughout adulthood. Man, Baron's Racers are one of the specialties that you'll find here at Twin Cities Reptiles and these are just so awesome. Then you come down here and these are all the baby snakes over here. There's a hognose snake right there on hold, it's sold. But then you turn around and look at all these inverts. And then as you walk over here on the other side of the shop, you have all the frogs and other amphibians over here. So these are Borneo eared tree frogs. These you just do not see in any reptile shop. And you can see that little ridge behind its eye and that's where it gets its name, Borneo eared tree frog. These are amazing frogs. And then you walk down here and these are all the lizards. We've got bearded dragons, we've got leopard geckos, we've got some lizards that you know you really don't see in any other shop. Green keelbelly lizards, these guys are awesome. Around the corner over here, you'll find an aurora. Hello. You have a really awesome YouTube channel that I really enjoy. You oh, are you. from Northern Minnesota and you actually go out and herp Northern Minnesota. I'm going to put Aurora's link in the description below. You've got to go check out the garter snake she found in northern Minnesota. Thank you so much. Absolutely. But in here, you will find huge breeding boas. You'll find really cool turtles. And then over here, you'll find retics. And look at this emerald tree boa up here. And then you come over here, and there are tons of Russian tortoises and Herman's tortoises. Look at this blue tongue skink in there. This place has so many awesome reptiles that when I come here to buy my crickets, I don't come here for 15 minutes just to run in and buy crickets. I literally am here for hours just looking through all these enclosures. It is so awesome that my hometown reptile shop is one of the most awesome reptile shops in the country. Brian, what do you think of my hometown reptile shop? Um, I think it's awesome. It reminds me actually a lot of uh, the East Bay Vivarium as far as the vibe. Yeah, I dig that. The difference between C Twin Cities Reptiles and East Bay Vivarium is Wonder Woman up there. 
I did not see a Wonder Woman at East Bay Vivarium. All the people. No, that's not Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is Wonder Woman. It's I'm a, sure it sounds the same, I've seen but it's not the same. I've seen that girl before, and last time I saw her, she said, "Imagine." All oh, see, I didn't see the movie, so I have no reference. I didn't reference. see the movie either, Dave. I'm just talking about that girl on the poster up there you pointed at. Oh, all right. So this is Bruce Dallas. You are the original owner of Twin Cities Reptiles that started. Uh, you, we filmed a video before, right? A couple of years ago. Yep. And it was 78 that you started? That is correct. You, oh, my, my brain worked once. There, there we go. That's the one time it's going to work. And we were all here to witness it. So, yeah, 1978. And that was, you came out, you filmed, it was the uh, 40th anniversary. That's that right, yes. I do recall that. So I think we had at least three people show up that day. I think so. I, it was a it was a it was, it was a whole mother. festival of I know. people. It was it was amazing. So <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to show me and Brian and Garrett this amazing shop. It's this follow up video that I'm shooting right now is a long time coming. I appreciate you guys coming out and having a look at it, and hopefully people are uh, impressed with the way we keep things and how we do. We we're doing it this long with. I'm making too many mistakes and hope to continue doing it for a little while longer. But I think if, if I hit another 40 years, man, I'm going to quit. I, I just <laughs> so I'm you're giving it 40 more years and then 40 it's more over. 40 more years and I'm done. There you go. Now, for those of you that were around or weren't around, probably about 30, 35, 38 years ago, cicadas were the hottest tortoise you could get your hands on. Everybody wanted cicada. They were, they were very, very expensive, very, very rare. Big adults were coming in, but not a lot of them. These two in here, um, Booker and Phoebe, this guy was probably the size of her when I got him 35 years ago. Was that size 35 years ago? He was, he was her size 35 years ago. He hasn't grown much since then. That just, he's not one of the monsters. So the thing about this room that is not open to the public that I really love is all your pet crickets over here. Yes, we're you just have a we're tub. Film the exact same video, Dave. The, the we always do. <laughs> you just have a tub of pet crickets. This is awesome. Brian, do you have uh, anything that you want to say on my video about the crickets that you've already said on your video? Yes. So I met this guy the last time I did the video here. This is Sarah's favorite lizard in this entire shop. I would say this is her of everything that's here. If, if there were a fire and somebody said run, that's the first, that's the first, that's the first she'd case she'd grab. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Patty is her ultimate uh, pet lizard. But you can definitely see why these are called caiman lizards. Look at all these osteoderms down its back and it really gives this a crocodilian feel and look to it. Man, these are awesome lizards. This particular retic I purchased from Garrett Hartle as a hatch, I don't know if it was a hatchling or a yearling. Oh, I know Garrett. You know him? Yeah, do you know Garrett? Uh, um, sometimes not. I don't want to admit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is actually Stevie. Stevie. All right. The wife came out for Stevie Nicks. I was going right. to say Stevie Nicks. That... Right. Leather and lace. <laughs> Come here, sweethearts. Come here. I was going to say white winged dove, but leather and lace. Whatever. Works. Look at this incredible uh, shot that I'm getting of this snake that Brian is holding and trying to film. Just incredible. Man, what an awesome snake. Okay, there we go. Now it's got some leverage. Actually, you know, th surprisingly enough, this is not the first time you and I have been handcuffed together like this. <laughs> 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 What you guys got going on over here? Oh, nothing. Oh. Got Potsy out. So this guy is named Potsy, uh, and you were saying cool. because he yeah. would always like raise his butt when you would walk into the room? Yeah, for you to pet him. And you tell him to sit on it, right? right? He's an attention holder. Yes, yes. Cool. Just like Dave Kaufman. That's right. <laughs> this is so awesome to just sit here and hang out with, well, an urban camo cyclura like this. Man, these are scaly puppy dogs. 
So guys, if you know where the name Potsy comes from, comment below. I want to know how many of you out there actually are TV history buffs and know where the name Potsy came from. Comment below. All right, so Tia here has one of the coolest lizards you're gonna see here at TCR. So this is a captive bred cask head lizard. Wow. And this is a first for the shop. This is the first time you've ever bred these cask head lizards. Yes, and actually the group of adults that these babies came from was the first time I had seen those in the shop. So it was amazing to have a first time species and then also get babies out of them. Oh, for sure. Look at that. That is just amazing. And these are the adults of those captive bred babies over there. They don't get very big and they're really easy to keep and they are just really unique, awesome lizards. So right here we have Anolis bipricatus. These are giant Neapolitan anoles. So this is the first time that you've bred these in the shop. Yes, very exciting. Wow. Typically when you're seeing them, it's wild caught adults or long-term captive adults, um, but we were able to produce this season, which is really nice. That is fantastic. Look at this chubster. Whoa! So this is what's known as a pixie frog, but they're better known as African bullfrogs. And they get their name pixie frogs from their Latin name pixicephalus, or pixie for short. Whoa! You gotta love anurins that are bigger than your hand. Look at that dude. Have you already shown us your favorite here, or do you have a favorite that we've yet to I see? joke about that. Everybody says, what's your favorite? The one I just sold and went out the door. <laughs> it's a business. So we got to go chase it down in the parking lot. That's exactly. right. Let's go exactly. tackle them. I don't have one, to be honest with you. I mean, there's a lot of animals that I would like to get again that I've had in the past, and some I think are really cool. The retic, Patty, Potsy. But I can't say that's my favorite. And if you've been in it this long, this many, there's such a variety of stuff that you possibly sure. could have had that so another one of the awesome snakes that you're going to find here at Twin Cities Reptiles are these guys. I have such an affinity for cave dwelling rat snakes because when I was in Thailand, we actually went into the caves to find this species in the wild. And ever since then, I have had a really huge love for these snakes. So as their name suggests, these guys live almost 100% of their lives in the caves in Thailand and throughout Southeast Asia. And these are part of the beauty snake clan. So trinket snakes, Taiwan beauties, blue beauties, these guys are in that family. And as you can see, they're a little bit nervous. They're a little bit bitey, but that was just a bluff. And as you can see, they calm right down and they can be handled very gently. But this is one of my favorites of all the beauty snakes simply because I've had the opportunity to actually see these in the wild in their natural environment. And frankly, I think these are the most beautiful of all the beauty snakes. And one of the things that I really love about these snakes is that black mask they have on their heads. That's a really unique feature of these cave dwelling rat snakes. Man, cave dwelling rat snakes, Baron's Racers, so many other cool things is what makes this reptile shop so amazing and unique. And I am really fortunate to have this be my hometown reptile shop. So anyway, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. Thank you.